Hello friends, we are in the passive voice. You can see now, this is the seventh part. Yes, seventh. And today what we are going to do is the <coughs> past continuous tense. We have seen the simple past, isn't it? Yes. For example, you get the cow eat grass. That is the simple past. And we have seen the past, the passive is you have to, there should be a transposition of the subject and the object. So this is the object, so we will say grass. This is past tense and therefore which form of B? Was. Yes. Singular then, was. Past participle eaten by the cow. So that is the simple past. Right? Yes. Now we will see in the next one the simple past and its change. We have already seen. So now we are going to past continuous tense. Let's take the same example. The cow. Cow was eating grass. Okay. So as we have seen in this present continuous tense, what should we do? We should add being and also the past participle of the given verb. Okay. So grass was being eaten by the cow. See that. Mother cooks food. Mother was cooking food. So what is the passive? Food. Food was being, you have to use the being, cooked, past participle by mother. I think that is easy for you. It's easy, simple. Because just like the person continues, the difference is only here. For the past continues, you have to use the forms of, past forms of be, that is was or where. And now you can see another one with the where? Okay. Um, the painter was painting houses. So, passing will be houses where, because plural, this is plural, and therefore houses where, where being. Painted past participle of the given verb by by the painter. So you saw both was and where. Said it. Now what is our next step to find out double of this? Okay. So let's have an example with the double objects. We have already plenty, but now we will have them. Okay. So let's see. The, the minister was giving, the minister was giving presents to the students. Minister was giving presents to the students. One day there was, once upon a day there was a minister. He was very generous, so he visited a school, then he thought of giving presents to them. So, the men, that's a continuous now. The minister was giving presents to the students. So, here we have seen when you have double objects, what should you do? You can take any, but it's better to take the personal object, that is, the students. So, we'll start like this. You can have both the passes. For the first, uh, preference is, of course, for the personal objects. So the students, the students were being, this is important, eh? given 
presents by the minister. So the students were given, be, being given presents by the or you can also have presents, presents were being given by given to the students by the minister. So you can have this. But this is preferred. Okay. Start uh, when you have two objects like this, then you start with the, the personal objects. Okay. In the case of two, actually you know what there is a name for this. That is, objects coming after 2 and 4, they are called a dativus. Dativus, D A T, dativus. And this process of changing, that when you have got two objects, indirect object is dativus, dativ. Direct object is present. And then the other one is indirect object. So indirect objects we call dativus. And this process in the passive voice we call dative movements. Dative movements. Movements. Dative movements. For example, when you say, you say no, the, the chef, chef, you know, chef. Chef was baking cakes for the boys. So in this case, what happened? Which is the deity? This is the deity. In the object. For example, the chef was baking what? Cakes. That is the object. And this is in the object. In such cases, what should we do is, we should start the passive with the cakes, that is direct object, not indirect object. Or, as we can say, not the deity. Listen, deity is not moved. But in this case, you take the direct object, that is uh, cakes were being made for the boys by the chef. So this is called deity movement. In the direct, direct when you have two objects in sentence, one is direct object, the other is indirect object. So when you have got the for and deity, see for the boys, then don't start the passive with the for, sorry the boys. Suppose we start not in love. The boys, the boys were being baked. <laughs> the boys were being baked a cake. It is a monstrous sentence. No. Like you have, what is a monster in monstrous? So it's a monstrous sentence. So we should not do that. Okay? Right. So in dative movement, now you can use that word, dative movement, you should be careful with the, the indirect object or the dative. The dative should not be moved in the case of four, but dative should be moved in the case of two. Just yes, now we have seen that. Or I will give you one more example to clear, to clarify things. So dative, non dative movement for four, and object, indirect object, but daily movement should be there for it's better so it is a personal object. Uh, we have seen the uh, the grandmother GM, okay? Grandmother was telling stories to the children. The children. So in this case, to the children is direct object, children. 
children were the children were were being told stories by jm as grandma the children were told children were being told stories by grandma or you can also have i have already told you stories stories were being told to the children by grandma so in this case as i told you that is your preference but always is better to start with the two dative but there is a dative it's better to move the dative so like the children were being told stories by the grandmothers stories were being told to the children by grandma both are acceptable not monstrous but of course in english the english grammarians most of them say that the this first one is the preferred passive that's okay so now let's see uh w sorry yes or no same process so no still one example one or two examples will show you okay let's say was was uh the bo- uh, was the boy playing football kusuma so what should what did you do simple you will say uh football make a statement football a uh, statement will be the boy was playing football okay now football football was being played by the boy so question was was football being played by the boy so this is the answer and this is the these are the steps as we have seen first if you have any doubt then change that into statement and then so these steps here could be avoided if you are an 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 expert like myself understand yes other is issue question now now question bread questions let's see the first one what was he doing what was he doing what was he doing so we have when you have doubt what should you do make a statement he was doing something instead of something we have got the question word what said it yes so then make it a uh, yes or no question was he was he doing something now we need a question Bring this. What was Mr. Samdi? What was he doing? I'll uh, show you. <laughs> no, that's not the question, no. So he was he was doing something. Yes. Now the next is the passive. Sorry. something was something was being done by him so now instead of something what what was being done by him okay So something was being done by him. What was being done by him? Simple. And the next, who was teaching him English? As I told you, as I 
Probably the other day also, not myself, as who was teaching English. So that will be who is the subject? The question is who is in the subject position. And therefore, yes, he was. He was teaching English. Then English was being taught. Taught to you, that is, or to him, to him. So this. Who was teaching English? So English was being taught. Ah, sorry, English was being taught by by, not to him. By whom? Then next is by whom was English taught? By whom was English taught? That's all. Okay, let's see the next one, which is, which says what the double object. Who was teaching English to you? Who was teaching you English? Question. So we, you can say instead of this, you can say he. Isn't it? Because the subject person. He was teaching you English. So you have got two objects. You take the personal object. Now you. Where? Because where? Because it's you. You were being taught English by him. It's not by him. You have got by whom? By him you can say. But here already you have a discussion about so. Question mark should come first. So, by whom were you taught English? By whom were you taught English? Because this is a question word. Middle part of that the verb, first part of the verb, then the subject, then taught English. It's simple. Isn't it? Okay, let's do another one. Same pattern, same pattern. So I think it is, it must have gone, so to say, deep into your mind, isn't it? Yes. Let's say how. How question, why question, where question, when question, any. How? How was, how was he doing it. How was he doing it? So, he was doing it is the, he was, was doing it is the, is the statement. So it was, it was being done. That's it. Question right. How? How was it? When it is question, first part of the verb has to be shifted. How was it done? How was it being done? Done. How was it being done? And so he was doing it. It was being done. Being done. Then how was it being done? That's all. Okay. Now where question or why question? It's only one. Okay, why? Why? Why was? Why was? Uh, why was the boy? Why was the boy eating too many eggs? Too many eggs. So why? The statement will be the boy, the boy was eating too many eggs. Then, first of this will be too many 
x where being eaten by the boy. Question number y. Y then verb. Then verb. First part of the verb. Why where? Too many eggs being eaten by the boy. Why were too many eaten? Too many eggs eaten by the boy. Right? Yes. Let's have where another person. Isn't it? Where? Why? How? When? Any question you can convert into passive. If you, I told you again what I am going to tell you is when you are in doubt, what you should do? You should change it in the, a, a, a statement. Statement you can easily make and then convert that into a question. Always you understand all of the questions, double H questions or the SM question, they are they originate from my statement, no doubt. So if they originate from my statement, then you can also go back to the origin. It's a mechanism, but it's a mechanism, that is shifting of verb. If, you, if there is a verb phrase, always shift the first word for making a question. See, otherwise you have to make it a verb phrase. For example, simple person, you have to make it a verb. He goes, he does go. Does he go? Where does he go? That's all. Then uh, he went, he went, he did go. Then did he go? Where did he go? We have done all these things, that's why I'm not writing. Okay, now what is the next question? Where? Okay, where was the girl? Taking the uh, the flowers. Where was the girl taking the flowers? So when you are in doubt, what you should do? Make a statement. The girl was taking the flowers. Now pass it. The flowers. Where being taken by the girl? Question mark. Question here. Where? Then where becomes? Where were the flowers being taken by the Good question. So, see this? Yes. So, I think that all your problems are over. So, once taking, where taking, these are the past progressive form of the verb. If you have got a verb, what is it you have seen? Take is the verb. You have to add to be plus. Past means was or where and ing. Then that means he was taken, were taken. Now passive is very simple. Ah, so ing. Therefore, we will see no? that, that, that is passive. Was taking. And where are they? So what passing will be was being past participle taken. Where being taken. This is a passive form. This is passive. Active is was taking. And where taking? Just like he is taking, I'm taking, I'm taking. 
It's no difference. Same. Same. Only. So I think now that is also over. Once you know, as I told you, know, once you know this pattern, then it becomes very easy. Nothing to worry about, provided, but always in the exams, you know, you should remember whether you are taking, being, plus I made a mistake now, just now. Whether what are, which participle you are using. Is it past participle or not? Remember this basically, passive voice means to be plus past participle. There should be an element of to be. One form of to be, there should be past participle. Past participle. Understand? Is that clear to you? You're fine, okay? Bye.